And he scored a try against Chile, Jamaica's first ever win on the Sevens World Series. But these guys, Argentina, they are going to take some beating. Felipe Del Mestre is on the bench, the captain. The story ahead of this is that Gaston Revol had to pull out late yesterday. He's following COVID protocols. So he's unavailable, but they still have plenty of heavy hitters. Ben Breakspear. Is your referee for this one in Pool C. So this is fascinating. We got the second team on the standings, Argentina up against Jamaica, who only knew they were playing at this event on Tuesday this week. But they've won the ball straight from the kickoff. And the Crocs, as they are known, have an opportunity here to try and do something very special. Ashley Smith, the captain. He's really important to everything they do. Been part of this program. He's been around for about five years and they're going to get the first try here. Jamaica, Omar Dixon in the corner. He left the program last year when he became a father. He's back in it and he's got a try on the World Series. They'll check it. Let's have a look at this here. Does he get it down, Amar Dixon? I mean, that for me looks as, looks as though he scored that. Looks so he gets the pressure, then it bounces off from his body. Ben, I have a decision. You may award for try. Thank you. Come on. Try awarded. Well, what a start, Rupert, for here for Jamaica. Perfect. I mean, they come here with no expectation. Come and just enjoy themselves, enjoy their rugby. Conversion attempt makes it. Jamaica get the maximum. One minute in, they lead Argentina by seven points to nil. Well, their head coach, an old England colleague of mine, James Bailey, will be absolutely delighted with that start. This restarts a little longer, but again, it falls to Jamaica, Jack Rampton, and he can't quite hold on ultimately, and it will be a scrum to Argentina. Well, they've been, they've been practicing their kickoffs, Jamaica, haven't they? Well, so far, Jamaica are just outfoxing the Fox. Normally, Argentina so on point, so hungry, and get all those areas, all those areas and niggly bits, restarts. 50-50s, they're normally brilliant at winning them so far. All the momentum with Jamaica. First bit of possession for the Argentinians. Turn back on that. Just some running repairs there for Jack Rampton. Plays his rugby for Richmond these days in London, forming Overton Rugby Club in the UK. Argentina looked to run it out from the base off the scrum. So now this is where you really earn your money in sevens defensively for Jamaica. Can they keep this razor-sharp Argentina team out? Yes. Yeah, hand slipping high on the tackle. That'll be a, an advantage to Argentina. Bounce pass across to Joaquin Lamas. Lamas, bit of footwork, bit of a head fake, Lamas, but three Jamaican defenders come over and put him over the sideline. Gareth Stepani is one of them. And that's a really good play for, for Gareth Stefani. That's really, really clever defence, really smart. Using the touchline as his friend, waiting for his colleagues. Just to come up and back his inside. 31 years of age, Gareth Stefani. Played lots of sevens all around the world. Actually, he had a trial for the USA Eagles. He's got about three passports. Depends who's winning. Good tackle. And Santiago Villa felled. Jamaica just camped down on their own 22 now. Yeah, at the breakdown. The Puma Sevens are absolutely ruthless, and Herman Schultz will get them going here. Looking for the try scoring opportunity on the far side. It's Franco Sabato, who's back in Argentinian Sevens colors after a two year hiatus. Penalty Jamaica. It was Tyler Bush who was getting involved in the breakdown there. 
He's a back row in 15s, and he showed his skills on the floor on that occasion. Yeah, he does really well. Just stays on his feet and actually allows the Argentinian just to go off his feet. Can't support his own body weight. Goes straight into the ruck, and as a result, that's a penalty. Now look at this Jamaica again, just kicking it long. It's just smart from them, Rupert. They're not used to the tempo out here Keep on this World 7 please. Series. We just see the penalty there. You see the daylight given. Just straight off his feet. There, number two, Vetterfeld for the Argentinians. But now Jamaica, not used to the tempo out here. So slow it down, kick to touch, regroup, go again. Yeah, playing sensibly at the moment. Not rushing anything. On the cut is Dixon, the try scorer. Over the, the 10 metre line. Not rolling away, Argentina, Jamaica, they go quickly. Looking for another score here, Ashley Smith. Sizable player, he takes some stopping, put on the floor. Just outside the, the 22, arriving is Tyler Bush. He got it all started with his turnover. The offload out the back was a, a little too hot to handle. And it might result in a try for Argentina. Lamas might need some help here, and he finds it. It is Franco Sabato who will score for Argentina. The 32-year-old back in Puma 7s and back scoring tries. Well, I'm just interested on the tackle there. Obviously, Argentina, brilliant turning defence into attack. Does he question we take him without having the ball? But either way, it doesn't matter. Referee, Ben Breaksfit doesn't think so. And this is what the Argentinians are so good at doing. The moment you give them an opportunity, the moment they get a sniff, they turn. They turn it into gold. With that, it's all square. Extra two. It's not successful. Wow, can we see that again, roof out here today? Yeah, it's the clock that beat them. Ball went through the post, but the clock, they didn't do it quick enough. So it's the second time the kick clock has come into effect here in the space of two matches. It's really good to actually see that as part of this series. Now, I remember when we were playing, you definitely milk the clock as much as you could, try and buy a few extra seconds to get the win now. They're hot on it. If you're not kicking in time, you don't get the points. Brilliant stuff. Well, if anything, you think Argentina want to play the game in as much pace as they can. And they are looking for their second score here. And there's an error, though. Unusual that from Argentina. They're one of the safest teams in the business. And Herman Schultz does not cough up possession very often. That's a give back for Jamaica. Just over 30 seconds to go in the first half. What do you do here, Ollie? Do you play it safe, deep in your own territory, or do you try to go coast to coast? Well, I think you've got some hands on knees here from the Jamaican side. You want to keep the ball at least. Now you want to go downtown. You've just cough that up. Yeah, that's uh, made life even more difficult for Ashley Smith, but they can slow it down, set up a breakdown. Now they're looking at the clock. Ten seconds to go. Dixon just skips through a tackle. They've done well to get out from their own 22 here. Done well. Done absolutely brilliantly. One more pass. Argentinian defender coming across. Cameron Melville. Inside ball. Still alive for Jamaica. Can they recycle the ball from the breakdown here? No, Argentina get the steal. And now they'll want to tap and go. Sabato. One or behind the mark, not in front. Yeah, ball in front of the mark there. So now Argentina will take a couple of deep breaths with clock in the red. Final play. Down by two. I'll tell you what. The Jamaicans will be sending a million Christmas cards to break sphere there. The referee just pulling back Sabato for taking the quick tap too far in front. Otherwise, he was away. Marcos Moneta, who was a star of the Olympics in 2020. Top try scorer there. He takes the field. Is he the man that can okay, let's play, please. find the spark? Scored a sparkling try against Great Britain in the Tokyo third place match to win them the bronze medal. Here he is now. Got the ball in his hand straight away. Come, come. Go, go, you in, go, you in. Go. 
Short ball, gone forward, going to go back for the penalty. And you, this is slipping higher over the shoulder. You mentioned it, Ruth, just really uncharacteristic mistakes from the Argentinian side. They're normally so accurate and pinpoint with the execution of their core skills. But at the moment, their handling's just not there. And Santiago Gomez Coro, their coach, he will be reading the riot act at half time. Jamaica thought they had the jackal there, but it's another penalty to Argentina. Herman Schultz with the ball in his hands. They almost coughed up possession in a very dangerous position there. Bazan Velez to Sabato looking for his second score. He decides to kick close to the line. Will the ball beat him? No, it won't. That's brilliantly done. From Franco Sabato, the veteran has come up with two really important tries in this first half for Argentina. Well, talk about backing yourself here, Rupert. Sabato knows Jamaica are tired. One-handed carry. And then he pins his ears back. And how about that? Rule in sevens, only kick the ball to score. What a try that is, just to take them in with the lead at half-time. Conversion off the upright, Sargentina with a three-point lead at the break. Captivating opening seven minutes between the second seeds here and the Invitational side, Jamaica, all to play for in the second half, 10-7, Argentina. Such an intriguing contest, this Argentina. Santi Gomez Cora will no doubt have something to say in this huddle. Before we have a listen inside of the huddle, let's go sideline and hear from USA Eagles star Perry Baker. Perry Baker joining us. Um, you lost to Spain in Dubai. How relieved are you to, to get through that first round game? Uh, it feels very good. You know, like we had the mindset of going into this as this is a quarter final right now, you know. So it just feels good to come and get a W off the uh, first day of this uh, kickoff of this tournament. Your 50th tournament, a very, very, the guys in comms said a special moment for a special player. Can you reflect on it right now or will that be when the boots are hung up? Uh, probably when the boots are hung up. I mean, right now I'm just grateful for my coaching staff, teammates, and everyone who like pushed me along the way to even, uh, achieve this milestone. You and Carlin are a bit of a double act. He's now on 2.12, you're now on 2.11. You almost got one at the end there. Do you, do, you, do, you keep, do you keep paces on each other in the changing rooms? Not at all. It's the first time I've heard of it since 200, so not at all. Awesome. Great stuff. All the best rest of the day. Uh, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, congratulations, Perry Baker. 50 events on the Sevens World Series, 211 tries as well. Not bad for the two-time player of the year. Inside the Jamaican huddle, the Invitational team here in Malaga. They only found out at the start of the week they were going to be playing at this tournament. It's great to have them here, and they have been outstanding, Ollie Phillips, in the opening seven minutes. Yeah, they really have. Just frustrating this Argentina. It's something you associate normally with Argentina. So good at disrupting play, dogging, defending frantically all over the place just to make it impossible to break down. Well, that's what Jamaica have been. They hang their heads, hold their heads high after that first half performance. They can do more of the same. They could fancy causing a real upset here. Yeah, Chris McIntosh, their 13th man who we get to see yet. He did a his final law exam on Tuesday night and then hopped on a plane the following day to be here. Another one of their players, a quantity surveyor, Rodri Adamson. He was supposed to be moving house this weekend. Well, that's been put on ice. Making sacrifices for the, the sake of the bigger cause, these Jamaican Sevens players. Argentina have got the three-point lead. Looking for their third try. Franco Sabato with their opening two in the first half and Herman Schultz power, pace, and he's over the line, and they do start this second half just the way they would have liked. A simple sevens by Argentina, just doing it really well. The classic pull out, take it to the width, come back against the grain, looking for defensive weaknesses in the opposition, and they find exactly that. Normally, you find them between the fourth or fifth defender there, it's between the fifth and sixth. 
and Argentina just glides straight through. Yeah, it's down the stretch with the heavy minutes. When you're not conditioned to be playing this level of sevens, it makes it difficult. The extra two are successful. And Santiago Bielefeld. Santi Gomez Cora on the sideline there, of course. Absolute Severs legend himself, former leading try scorer. All time. Restart. There's an advantage to Jamaica here, so they get the lucky break off the restart. Clap of the hands from Ashley Smith. You gotta you gotta take the breaks when they're on offer. Just keep reinforcing that. Keep the energy high, keep the positivity high. And equally, just keep the niggle up with the opposition. Just remind them, oh, you just dropped that one on. That's another little mistake. Crouch. That's what you want on the field. A bit of gamesmanship, Rupert. Fine. Yeah. 17-7, five minutes to go. Jamaica have already showed they have the attacking game to cause problems. There is Ashley Smith. Heavy tackle on him in midfield. But he does get the ball away, overloading the near side. Just playing quite narrow, and you can't blame them for that, Jamaica. Just trying to commit as many eyes and ten defenders as they can, but the Puma Sevens have turned this over. And Lamas has the ball in his hands. Iskro now, Sabato. And skipping inside is Marcos Moneta. He came off the bench in the first half. And there is Moneta showing his world-class style. Well, Rupert, you mentioned there, just in commentary, that this Jamaican side are going to be Argentina. They have to play with width. They keep it tight. The Argies will turn them over all day long. And that's exactly what they do. The moment they turn them over, they whip it to the width. And when you put the ball in the hands of this man, Moneta, his footwork is so deft. His speed is frightening. He'll make you pay. Yeah, a fine intervention from Marcos Moneta, still just 21 years of age, he's a kid, but he's taken this Sevens World Series by storm, and he's taken this match by storm as well, 24-7 now. 3.40 to go. In pool C. Lamas with the kicking duties again. Jamaica brought this down off the restart. They get the penalty as well. That was good work from Lucas Roy Smith. Ashley Smith. Little inside ball. Going quickly is Ashley Smith again. Chris McIntosh is out there in the 13 shirt. He's the one who had the law exam on Tuesday night. Much better shape here from Jamaica, just using the full width of the field. As a result, stretching the Argentinian defence and posing questions, not keeping it narrow. So Jamaica, plenty of time here, 24-7. They could score right now. They could be in business, but just loose ball, just perhaps forcing the offload in contact. We spoke about it, Roop. You keep it tight on this Argentinian side. You don't stretch the width. They'll turn you over, and as a result, that's what happens. Jamaica make the mistake, they knock it on, and to compound the misery, they give a penalty away too. Yeah, big Ashley Smith just forcing it. You can't blame him for that. Can you? He's trying to make something happen for his team. Other players coming on the field, yes. Argentina, bronze okay, medalist two and two Dubai legs. Yes, please. Bronze medalist at the Olympics. They'd like a they'd like a medal here, and you know, I'd like it to be a different colour this weekend. Ruby, just a small thought, uh, point, but really like how Ben Breakspear manages a game. Really clear, precise and concise with the players on the field. It won't take any nonsense. Yeah, lots of new officials on the on the series this year. Ben Breakspear is one of them. Actually, in his first tournament in Vancouver, he refereed the cup final. So that's a that's an endorsement if ever there was one. Eleven, sub. Oscar Clayton now coming onto the field in the seven shirt for Jamaica. He's out of Birmingham University. 
CrossFit instructor in his part time. Making his Malaga Sevens debut. Lineout's not straight from Argentina, so that's a complete give back to Jamaica. Clock is now inside the final two minutes now. 24 7, not impossible. Highly improbable, unfortunately, River, against a side as quality as Argentina. But for me, Jamaica, the barometer is not how good they are against Argentina, it's how well they can execute some of their game plan and actually pose some problems out here. Well, how much can they learn from this? A try would be a huge outcome for them and a great success story for this second half. Already one try for Omar Dixon in that first half. That got the scoring going in this game, but Argentina have shown their class and they get the turnover on the floor as well. Moneta and Gonzalez involved. There is Gonzalez, Bazan, Velez, Sabato looking for a hat-trick here. Approaching the final minute into the Jamaica 22. Could be an overlap if they can get the ball away. Gonzalez holds on. He had a, an opportunity on the left, but it won't matter because Latoro Bazan Velez will pick it up off the base and stroll in for another Los Pumas 7 try. I mean, it's the pace of the ball, the way that Argentina just secure it. Look how quickly Moneta is into the breakdown there. No contest, and as a result, Jamaica sixes and sevens all around the ruck. It's a really simple try, but it's down to the brilliant execution in that contact zone, in the breakdown zone from this Argentinian team. Tazan Velas' 54th try all time from the Cordoba Athletic Club in Argentina. Thirty-one seven. One more restart. And it will be Bazan Velez who will just chip it forward. They won it again, Argentina. That was brilliantly done on the chase, and that will do it for full time. And they conceded the opening try, did Argentina, but they have ultimately shown their class here against the invitational side, Jamaica who didn't let themselves down at all. 31-7, the final score. Well, Ali Phillips, what do we learn about Argentina, first of all, and that performance? I think ultimately they're a quality outfit. I think first game is always a tough 